Hey guys, going to do my last setup video, uh, loading model specifics um, and showing my settings. I already have my heli and radio turned on here, um, so I'm going to go on, uh, pull up the 3GX software. Um, I choose English, of course. I'll let this boot up here. Alright, first things first, um, if you look up in the top, um, first, I am not connected, um, look up here, I get a linking failed, a red light, um, no problem, um, after you confirm everything's turned on, um, plug in your USB to the data port, just like that. Go back up in your software, you'll see you get a green USB light. So we are good to go. Um, first things first, uh, choose the model selection screen. Um, e even though I already have settings um, loaded on my 3GX, I've already been out flying, um, I hit the normal, then I hit the custom, and now I'm going to hit the read button so I can show you guys uh, my loaded settings. Okay, um, when you hit the custom button, you'll see. Um, these extra tabs pop up letting you tune everything. Um, show you my settings. Aileron, uh, control rate 70, uh, total gain 62, roll lock 55, roll stop 55, and the roll expos at zero um, because I use my radio to control the expos. Uh, elevators, um, control rate 70, um, Total gain, 62. Um, elevator lock, 55. Elevator stop, 55. And again, um, the expo is at zero. Uh, rudder parameters. Control rate, 75. Total gain, 70. The lock gain, 65. Rudder stop, 60. Uh, the pirouette compensate, 60. Uh, the speed up adjustment, zero. Um, Anti-torque, since I mounted um, upside down location one uh, or inverted, um, I choose reverse on the switch over here. And I'm right about five on my uh, anti-torque compensation. I've had no issues with my tail. Um, I'll show you the gain in my radio here in a second. Uh, moving on to the other parameters. Um, Hiller mix. 55, uh, bell mix 50, um, swash normalization 70. Um, what that does is help speed up uh, how the 3GX uh, compensates. If you're just hovering, uh, you want a little bit more stable, maybe bump that up. But too high can cause other issues. Um, the cyclic pitch compensation is at 50, and the pirouette optimum is at 65, and the cyclic pitch motion. Um, it's turned off or a zero. Um, I'm using version 1.1. 1 .1. um, now I will show you my uh, gain settings in my radio here. Go into the gyro menu. Uh, it's hard, you probably can't even see it on here. Um, but I use 68 on my radio, and then, like I said, back in the rudder um, parameters, the gain on there is at 70. Um, I've had no issues, um, even on pretty decent um, punch outs, I can barely get this thing to, you know, move on me. So, I'm no stick banger, um, but I've had no problems. Um, that's about it. Um, if you want to use my settings and try them, like I said, helicopter uh, minus setup at 10 degrees pitch, 10 degrees cyclics, um, low, open up, um, change all your settings on here the last step hit your right button you'll get right ok hit ok um, the unit itself you might hear some twitches out of your servos if it updates or something here or there um, go ahead and disconnect uh, your data plug and that's it guys um, I turn my um, dual rates uh, down to 90 or 95 um, I run about 13 to 15 expo. Um, so from my 10 degrees, you know, it's lower down to about, you know, 8 to, you know, 9. Um, 
I've had no issues. Like I said, that's plenty for me for now. Um, you know, I can always go back and bump it up as I get better or whatnot. So, hopefully that helped uh, for you guys. And go ahead and try out my settings. Um, see what they're like. And uh, good luck, guys. Let me know.